What's up, Axie Faction? Welcome back. We are still on travels right now, so things have been a little bit chaotic, but I cannot stop bringing you guys the content. Today's video is actually a collaboration with Nanesque Gaming. If you have not heard of Nanesque, he is one of the greatest content creators coming out of Brazil. Just an amazing guy. He was actually the winner of my Axie Origin Story contest. So I actually had the pleasure of meeting him in Barcelona, and we connected instantly. I'm not joking when I say that this guy is one of the best, so please make sure to follow his channel and his Twitter. Links are in the description below. We plan on doing a lot more collaborations in the future and I could not be more excited for that. But today's video was actually recorded before AxiCon. We decided on doing a $30 budget team challenge with a little twist. The loser of the challenge has to give the entire team away on their channel. So make sure to watch until the end so you don't miss your chance on winning one of these teams. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, cool. A little bit of uh, technical I... difficulties, but we're going to get this rolling, no problem. Yeah. It happens, right? Absolutely. It happens. It happens almost every time I record a video. <laughs> <laughs> true. That's so true, man. Every time there's an important thing going on, these things happen. I can't tell you how many times I've recorded, like, three to five minutes of a video before I realized I didn't change my audio levels on the mic in OBS. So there's oh, no man. audio in anything I said. <laughs> Uh, I've once interviewed like three guys for two hours just to find out I, I got them with no sound. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that was super embarrassing. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Wow. Yeah, th this was the my worst experience in this kind of trouble. Right, because in that uh, situation it's not only just you that messed up, but it's, it's yeah. also hurting the people that you interviewed. Yeah. That's yeah. frustrating. Can, yeah. They were super nice and they did it all again. Wow, wow that's great. I mean, everyone in this community is so great, man, and, and understanding. They are, too. yeah. They really are. Uh, so, cereals and risky fish are like, and risky cards in general are really great cards for these naked battles, like 90 value for one card it's it feels really great right 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 which is why i really like my backliner here because i have the last one and serious which can both yeah. deal up to 90 damage with a single card and then i also have vulnerable scarab can target anywhere i have the stun in rosa um and uh finally scalable damage with trump oh my gosh and it man. works two blackmails two blackmails <laughs> turn one I only have three cards, Nanesk. What do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, that's the purpose of my team. I wish I had more curse cards here. I really lost a great deal. Uh, I was checking for a, uh, an Aqua. Uh, he should be my midliner. He had Risky Fish and he had uh, Pope and like for, for more damage boost. Right. And okay, now I'm gonna waste two cards. And what else? Oh no. So the I played taunt. one yeah, blackmail on the back line here, and then I played the other blackmail on the trunk. So I was able to absorb mm -hmm. some damage on my back liner and then still keep the trunk for the following turn. Great and play, yeah. I'm hoping I'm hoping it was a smart enough play <laughs> to keep me alive <laughs> a little bit longer, but we're gonna find out. I got double trumps here, so I'm gonna start scaling up that damage. Oh my god. Now, what, I wish I had Taunt here. You, oh, yeah. Taunt would be great for you. Um, it would. Taunt would be great it for really me, would. too. I think Taunt is just really OP in terms of naked battles. Being able to divert attention to a specific area is really clutch. Now, I think what both of us are lacking... Actually, no. You've actually got some. You've got draw, you've got draw power and early bird on your frontliner. Yeah. I was really afraid you borrowed, like, Mavis... Cause uh, so that's why I got uh, the front line with Yam. Ah. Just I could deal with someone's like Mavis. So because right. Mavis in here, this this kind of naked battles would be so so good. Absolutely. And I really thought about getting a Mavis myself, but if you don't have an answer for it, it can it can absolutely destroy you. It's, you, yeah, it's it, true. It's two free energies after playing it, right? And then if you also have true. Nemo's or Cottontails, you can completely revive it to full health and then have it for potentially up to six turns of free energy. It's amazing. Ooh, yeah, I'm still okay. waiting for my tiny dino here. You haven't drawn the tiny dino yet? Oh, no. No, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Well, I mean, to be honest, I Feels think bad. you've got the advantage right now. I'm going to throw out my Hail Mary. And it failed! <laughs> no! 
What am I supposed to oh. do now? Okay. Okay, yeah, you gotta hit it. I at least at I, run. I can get some big damage off here. Oh, it hurts. It really hurts. And I'm losing Nemo value too. Oh no! Oh, that's sad, that's the sad. anti-aggro comp is here. I have no draw power to help me get through these blackmails. Uh, now I think I'm just gonna play like this. What's he gonna yeah, do? I'm gonna, what do, gonna do to me? Okay, I'm gonna do death. these and these. That's death. Oh, and you're focusing the back line. Ooh, you've got synergy. I yeah, like I've it. Yeah, got a little bit of synergy. You got yeah. a little bit of synergy there. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I also brought this dual Ooh. blade mech because I was really afraid of uh, another great comp for these naked uh, combats. It's like reflect, right? Because you can get value from both shield and uh, reflect damage. So Absolutely. I was really afraid you you got like Mavis and uh, reflect comp would be really bad for me. This black male now will, will actually help me, I think. I don't, I don't have any options, Nanesk. Like every single turn, <laughs> I have a Nemo yeah, and a Blackmail <laughs> and three unoptimal cards. <laughs> you you schooled me on this one, man. Yeah, this this tiny Dino is gonna hurt a lot with the with the damage, eight damage boost. boost. That's looking yeah. scary. I have this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna taunt this guy and probably just turtle here. Okay, it's happening, Ryan. It's happening, man. It's happening. Oh my gosh. Have you what played good already? Um, I don't see if... Oh, it's my, my discard pile. It is there. Huh? Okay. You've got the sword and hollow. And you drew ah. the void! I survive another turn! Oh my god. Have you? I th oh no! Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> the double revenge, man. The yeah, double revenge. Nice. <laughs> man, I should. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have put the. Uh, oh, no, I know. I know exactly what I was thinking. I needed the. Like, yeah, the blackmail, black right? But then again, it wouldn't have made a difference if I had just put the trunk in the front and the blackmail the bird. Since the trunk has taunt anyway, it would have acted the exact same way. So you know, you live and you learn. But I think it is time for you to send me. Uh, challenge okay, request just did. and see if I can't bring this back in the second match. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping. I'm dreaming. <laughs> oh, this is really fun. This is really fun. Uh, do I want this card? Just gonna use this and okay. telescope for what aqua card? You can get clam. The only one I got. Clam shell. He's going clam yeah. shell next turn. If I can, uh, if I can put. I don't have any shield. Can't stop him from procking it. Uh, I mission. guess Glimsha, oh, yeah. So I'm yeah, gonna go no ahead shield, yeah. and play Goda. Hate this card. And Trump. Hey man, I need to figure out some way to to get to get through to the late game. I need some path. Um Yeah. Just these cards. Is it another blackmail? No! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> another one incoming soon. Don't worry. Bro, triple blackmail is so fun. It is Super a lot of fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had more curse cards here. The the, the fish I, I lost, I, I should have bought it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna play that blackmail. You can target my backliner, but you know what? I'm gonna heal him too. So he's not gonna be so easy to kill. Sounds fair. Sounds pretty fair. Okay. A nice hit. Ooh, starting off with the little peas. Yeah. Also curly. Now if he's curly got- one. If you draw on a toothless bite, it's all over. Yep. Toothless Probably on bites. my next hand, right? Uh. <laughs> Actually, you don't know that. <laughs> uh, you don't know that, so never mind. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't see it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get the most value we can get here. You're not going to be taunted next turn. I don't think it's any worth playing Little Peas. I think it's yeah. probably better just to go serious. 
A bit awkward to play little to to play little peas on a taunted target like this, right? It is a bit awkward because you know you're going to be, especially when you have uh, like guaranteed uh, guaranteed damage on something like Sirius, where you can get that twenty mm -hmm. extra damage buff. Um, last card. Last card. Oh man. Okay, I need the perfect draw, and twin I got tail, it. Twin tail, and twin oh tail. my god, and toothless bite. And toothless bite. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yep. Yep. I did it. Uh, oh yeah, I'm just gosh. gonna play pigeon post here. Yeah, this early bird is not that really good without the energy gain. Well, man, I'm telling you, it's a hell of a lot better than what I'm getting. I've got double <laughs> Nemo, blackmail, <laughs> lamb, and a trump. I've got five energy and two cards to play. Yeah, lamb still works? No, it doesn't. I thought it would work. Trump is getting uh, 72 damage already. Trump I should is be so interesting. I think... I The problem with Trump is I think in order to make it work correctly is you need to taunt juggle and then you also need some sort of passive healing so that you can play all of those uh, you can play all of the trumps through multiple mm -hmm. deck cycles but the problem yeah. is all the good you taunt need the horns our yeah. horns exactly <laughs> yeah uh, I don't like cat too but I do like uh, ant 70 shield with the taunt right. is really nice right but it's also awkward because it lasts for four turns which means if you can't redirect attention somewhere else it's most likely going to end up dying exactly at least it gives you 70 shield right i've got two nemos and no way to use them again <laughs> <laughs> oh check this out oh. ryan you're gonna love it i got double pigeon post double pigeon oh my gosh twin tail you're twin so tail kind. Feels, feels so good you're so kind man i didn't i didn't know that you had it in you <laughs> You, you, sh you really shouldn't have. <laughs> There's no point in playing a Nemo. Let's get some health for it. Yeah. Let's go. It, 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 <laughs> it gets really sad when you like are you keep drawing Nemos on bad turns, right? Oh my gosh, man! It's it's been like I I swear I only draw the Nemo on turns when you give me pigeon pose. And then the one turn that I didn't have Pigeon Post in my hand, the the, the, the blackmail, I drew both my Nemos. <laughs> um, 128. Now, normally, I think you can top GG, man. GG. Yeah, you, you blew it out of the water both those games <laughs> with that comp. Uh, absolutely counters everything that I'm trying I'm to do. I'm happy it worked. I'm really happy it worked. I was very insecure about this uh, team. I, like, I, I found it very... Fun to like, oh, let's make a triple pigeon pose. It's gonna be so fun to play with. Right. And in fact, it is super fun. Like, if I had uh, fear or maybe other curse cards, it would be like better. But I focus on, on like getting cards with value, like Peacemaker, Twin Tail. Uh, Toothless Bite was nice, so I could like just uh, finish a possible backliner that had taunt before. Little Peas is nice, and Fragile from Dual Blade, some uh, automatic value from Puppy and Leaf Bug. This kind of, uh, yeah, I'm gonna explain this. I forgot about no, it. No, absolutely, man. No, I think I think you I think you did a really good job theory crafting that comp. Um, I think it completely counters what I have, right? Because I'm a more aggressive oh, yeah. comp, but with no draw mm -hmm. power, and that's where I yeah. that's where I really uh, fell flat. Because I think if I had the draw power, then even if and I even when I had an optimal hands i could draw into the cards that i needed but mm -hmm. um yeah you you definitely blew it out of the water man well that was a ton of fun but it looks like nanesk came out as the victor now i think my backliner was extremely strong but the problem was i fixated too much on the trump and tried to make that a core strategy of the team whereas if i had just focused on more quality axes specifically axes with card draw to help me get full potential out of all these zero costs i think i would have had a much better chance
But regardless, it looks like Nanesk is not only a great content creator, but also has some pretty good axe chops as well. And it looks like I'll have to be giving away my team. So if you want a chance to win these three axes, make sure to like this video and subscribe to both my channel and Nanesk Gaming. And the last thing you'll have to do is write in the comments below, Trump sucks. And with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the arena.